makes Chris and we heat with wood. But somehow this year I've managed to bring a bunch of mosquitoes into the house and they're driving me absolutely batty. So I have an idea for a project. This is the Ryobi charger. It has two USB-A ports, a quick charge, 3 amp. It has a Type-C power delivery port. It's a bug zapper and it's a dome light. It has three, three different settings, low, medium and high. It's got a strap here to hang it from. The Harbor Freight bug zapper light has a hook on the end that you can hang it and it has two switches on it one turns on the bug zapper which is the ultraviolet light and the zapper and the other one is for just a regular dome light that says low medium and high the charger is made to take the Harbor Freight bug zapper light and fit it in there you're gonna leave the bug light in the charger all the time I made a little latch that you can just screw down to hold it tighter. You can use a short USB micro cord to plug into the Ryobi battery. I used some three quarter inch strap and I 3D printed some buckles so that you can carry the charger. I found for those little teeny nets that this catchy bug catcher works really well. But uh, you can just plug it right into the Type A port here. It has a uh, standard setting and a low setting. It has an ultraviolet light to attract it, and then when the little bugs gets nearby, it pulls them in, and there's a sticky paper on the bottom they get stuck to. The bottom of the catchy just opens up, and then there's these replaceable sticky pads that go in here. Here's what I got last night a whole bunch of little gnats, and then one big mosquito. Let's take a look at what it takes to put this together. This is the top to the Ryobi battery holder. The, uh, right in here, the bug zapper will fit. And there's access to get to the buttons here and to the USB charge port here. And this is where the, the uh, socket for the cigarette lighter will go for that has the uh, two USB ports and the type C port. This is just the pins that hold it into the other section. This is the bottom of the Ryobi battery holder. This is where the USB socket will go. And this is where the Ryobi plug goes here. I put strap holders here. And this is where the battery connects. And then I, I put holes for the pins that connect the top portion of it. You should be able to see here. So that's what the top looks like connected to it. The easiest way to get the terminal, this is a standard Ryobi terminal, is to put it on the battery. Then you can take it off and further press, press it in with your hand. I ordered this 12 to 24 volt socket adapter and what's nice is it's got two type A quick charge 3 amp uh, ports plus a PD port and it has an on and off button on it too. So what I do is I take a standard female socket and I just pull off the insulator and then I use that to solder the socket to these terminals on the Ryobi connector. So I slip them on and then I bend them out a little bit just to put a little pressure on it. You make sure that the plus is on the right side. Unfortunately the socket label is upside down but that's okay. And then I just solder this on. battery on just to check it quick. You can see it is upside down but that's the off and on switch. I'm just going to use some super glue here to put in the holes. And 
and we can take the cover here and snap it on. This is a strap buckle for the three quarter inch strapping that's going to hold the Ryobi. This is the latch that holds the bug zapper down to the Ryobi 18 volt battery holder. You can use a lighter just to keep the ends from fraying. I think this is going to be great to use out in the trailer because even though we have screens, we all st still seem to get bugs in it. As always, I'll put the 3D print files on Thingiverse and on the Prusa print sites. Well, if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.